Good morning and uh, welcome to my humble condo here in uh, Bangkok. Today it is the April the 11th. We are in the middle of uh, a COVID-19 pandemic and it has been more than three months since the discovery of this virus in, in China, in Wuhan. And uh, this coronavirus was declared a, a, a pandemic by the WHO uh, since uh, March 11th. So it is exactly one month since the declaration of this to be a pandemic. This, uh, this has been my morning routine now to check the news on the COVID-19 and also to check the statistics how is it going in the world what are the numbers and today i can see here uh, that uh, we have a total of uh, almost 1.7 million reported cases in the world and if we look at the top three we have uh, usa almost half a million number two is spain 158,000 and number three Italy the center of the European epidemic spread has uh, 147,000 confirmed cases and the total deaths we can look here total deaths 102,000 people around the world and if we look here in Thailand we have uh, almost two and a half thousand cases and 33 deaths it is quite tragic that uh, to check these numbers uh, has been uh, my my regular morning routine but this is how it is and uh, i haven't done any travel videos for a while and uh, that's explainable because we have a global travel ban we can say no one is going anywhere because we are not allowed to and almost all countries have imposed uh, travel bans uh, against uh, other countries and here in thailand we have a uh, an emergency status emergency what do you say what emergency declaration uh, for uh, two weeks now and it means that the government can impose uh, a curfew at any time and they have already uh, impose uh, one uh, partial curfew from 10 o'clock in the night to 4 o'clock in the morning so it's uh, kind of a partial curfew we can say by the way I'm not uh, I'm not uh, corona positive but I'm just here because there's someone in my condo building that has a, has got a COVID-19 and uh, that person has been quarantined in, in, in the room for, 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 for 14 days. It was 14 days yesterday, so now that person can go around. So just to be on the safe side, not to spread the virus, uh, <clears throat> I have been here in my condo for, for 14 days now. So I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So uh, I've been stuck here in my condo for more than 10 days and uh, I try to do my best to keep myself busy when I'm here. I'm uh, lucky that I can work from home. I have my computer with me and uh, I have done a lot of reading. I have uh, listened to a lot of music. I have watched movies on my TV and um, just trying to to get the time to go faster you know and uh, regarding books i read this book it's regarding japan it's another traveling book and this is my third traveling book that i read during this uh, this time right now is the time of the thai new year and i'm supposed to go to hawaii and uh, vancouver to make some uh, interesting videos and uh, that trip was cancelled and I also have another trip in the, in the beginning of May to go to Guam and uh, to the Federated State of uh, Micronesia. Uh, I think that will also be 
cancelled or, or postponed. So two big trips cancelled uh, from my side, and uh, I can only hope that it will get better soon. The way of traveling will uh, will definitely be be changed after this uh, pandemic. Don't know yet how it will be changed, but it will definitely be changed. Maybe in a smaller scale of flights. And uh, if that's so, I think it will be more expensive to, to fly in the future. And there will also be less low-cost airlines. And I think there will also be less destinations to, to choose from also. Good morning Bangkok! Well, what a beautiful sight. This is the view of Bangkok from my condominium window, from my room. And uh, over there in the horizon you can see the, uh, the bridges over the Chao Phraya River in Bangkok. Beautiful, beautiful morning. And uh, just uh, a couple of months ago it was not, uh, you cannot see the bridge uh, from here due to the PM 2.5 pollution. But now you can see it in uh, end of March, April, but instead the pollution has been replaced by the coronavirus that is spreading uh, in the air if you are close to someone that has the virus. So you have to be careful. Uh, when you're walking outside also, wearing the mask. I will show you later. And uh, from my condominium uh, unit, you can see here the, the great swimming pool that I was using almost every day. And uh, over there, you have the, the fitness center and the communal area, the social area. But uh, all those facilities have now been closed due to uh, the social distancing guideline that everyone is supposed to follow so this uh, condominium is closing down all those uh, facilities where you can uh, get mo many people in one place and that's good everything we're doing everything here to uh, minimize the spread of the virus so uh, I haven't been uh, working out in there and uh, swimming here for almost a month now and uh, I will show you how I'm doing my uh, daily morning workout. This is a uh, face mask and uh, I'm wearing it every day, every time I'm going out of my unit here in the, in the condo and uh, the face mask has been my EDC, my everyday carry since a few weeks back and if you look at the people on the streets here in Bangkok I would say everyone, everyone is wearing a face mask for protection of the coronavirus and uh, that's why I'm having this as a, as a must to before I go out to wear a face mask so uh, let's go out and see what it looks like in my condominium building I'm using the, the lift to go, go down and uh, I will show you what it looks like inside the lift. You see the social distance guideline? It's on the floor here. Maximum five people and it's marked where you can stand inside the lift. So let's go down. This is the ground floor and uh, here they have uh, two stations with the hand sanitizer. It's uh, alcohol gel you use for uh, disinfection. It's good that they have it. And uh, it's for precautions to be on the safe side. And I will show you what they do here before everyone is entering into the the lift hall to take the lift up to the units they are doing the temperature check body cap body cap 
So this is a temperature measurement. They're measuring the temperature in the forehead. And I got uh, 36 degrees, which is OK. The limit here is the 37.5. So I take one of these stickers, put on my shirt, says that I'm OK. And here in the garden of my condominium here in Bangkok is where I am doing my regular exercise routine. And uh, this is not an optimal place to do the exercise because it's close to the main road and you have a construction site here beside me that's making all these noise. But at least I'm doing a, a workout during the coronavirus crisis. And I guess you have to do it because you never know when this crisis will be over. And during this time, I think it's important you also take care of your, your physical health. So this is the best that uh, I can do without going elsewhere. Because in Bangkok, we have a partial uh, curfew and also all these uh, places where many people gather, like restaurants, bars, gyms are closed. So you can only do fitness at your own place, at your own home. And this is where I'm doing mine. So the exercises that I'm going to do uh, consist of uh, 10 different kinds of sets. I'm doing uh, each set for 45 seconds and then I'm resting for 15 seconds. So in total I'm doing uh, a 10 minute exercise. Perhaps I'll do another video to go through all the sets and exercises in more detail. And uh, let's see about that. So uh, this is the life here in Bangkok in April 2020 in the middle of the Corona crisis. And I surely hope that this crisis will be over soon so everything will go back to the normal. So uh, bye for now and uh, see you next time.